Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. Just thought I'd return to you for this uh, Kendrick Lamar and Drake disc that I just got a chance to check out. Sorry about the background noise. My sister and my nephew or my nephew's throwing a fit, so please forget that background noise. But still, uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the Kendrick Lamar and Drake disc, so let's get right into the video. I've heard two three songs from Kendrick, Drake, then Kendrick. So pretty much once Kendrick dropped his Euphoria track, that was the more mellower side to his diss towards him. But it was actually a pretty good diss, in my opinion. I mean, yeah, credit goes to Kendrick Lamar for actually putting out some bangers for these two diss tracks, but did we really need this diss, <laughs> is the question. Honestly, it was a little bit entertaining, but still, the last diss that I heard was, wow. It Drake started up a whole new thing because he didn't take it that, that well, so he did a song called Family Matters. And that was seven and a half minutes of bullshit. I didn't like that track. He still talked about women and all that other shit. And he tried coming up with good disses for Kendrick Lamar, but it didn't execute. So if I were to give Euphoria a score, I'm going to give it a five out of five. That was a good diss track, uh, in my opinion. But this one, Family Matters, was crap. It's a 1.5 out of 5. I didn't like this diss. This diss was so weak, personally. And it could have been a better executed track, but... No, Drake took it personally and started saying, I'm gonna shoot up everything around you and all that. So he resorted to violence in his lyricism. And I'm like, dude, you're just a punk-ass bitch, honestly. But... I don't know if this is all staged or not, but still, I don't like Drake personally as of lately because some of his music has gotten pretty bad as of lately. But then we get to the final track, Meet the Grams. This one really destroyed Drake big time. It made Kendrick Lamar stay on top and his disses have not failed basically. And I'm sorry about the background noise. He's throwing a fit right now. So pretty much, yeah, he's really throwing a fit. Pretty much, I think the Meet the Grams uh, track was actually pretty good, but <laughs> fucked up too. So that's another 5 out of 5, even though there were some uh, things, the deer... Odonis, Dear Sandra, Dear Baby Girl, Dear Abram, uh, which is Drake's actual name. Um, pretty much that was pretty fucked up. Um, and I was like, wow, he really took it too far. This diss, technically, it was entertaining, but the last diss that Kendrick Lamar did kind of did take it a little too far. And personally... It just was like, wow, that, I heard that shit, I was like, woo, that's pretty bad. <laughs> but, yeah, Meet the Grams was a brutal track, and it was good, but it was fucked up, I can tell you that. Uh, there was a lot of shit that Kendrick said, straight to the point, and he didn't hold anything back, and I was like, I think he won this, for sure. And Drake hasn't responded yet to this last diss, the Meet the Grams. I have a feeling he's gonna... He needs to throw in the white flag and say, no, nah, you win. So, at this time, he needs to because I don't know if he can top that. Because all he does is talk about women, pussy, shooting up places and all that. Shooting up Kendrick's whole crew or whatever. It's pretty fucked up. And basically, uh, it just, I think this whole diss thing did take it on a personal level, uh, for
for both of their spectrums. And I think Kendrick is a lot better than that. But Drake, he's not anyone to really diss anymore because he's a grandpa rapper. He slowly raps, and it doesn't execute too well. Even when he tries to rap fast, it comes off cringy and just very unsatisfying. So I'm just like, no, Drake lost this battle. Kendrick is the winner. I mean, yeah, everyone can say that Drake did good. If people are on Drake's side, you know that he needs to throw in the white towel, the white flag, and say, nope. Uh, I, I give up, you win it. <laughs> so, but, uh, pretty much, this, this, I don't think needed to happen, but, I don't know, it just started happening through the coming days, and I was like, the past few days, I was like, what is going on? I was like, is this really necessary? <laughs> like, first we gotta... Megan the Stallion and Nicki Minaj thing back in January, late January, and Megan the Stallion won that one, personally. Her diss was a lot better, and Kendrick Lamar just decimated uh, Drake in this one. So, two disses for this year, two rap battle disses this whole year. So, who's going to be next? I wonder who. But we'll just wait and see. I know it's not going to be Eminem and MGK again. Even if MGK tries to step up to Eminem, Eminem will still destroy him. Uh, but who knows? We'll see how this turns out, personally. But still, Kendrick Lamar won this diss, and I'm all the way with him. Even though this disc was technically unnecessary, I think the last disc kind of really took it on a personal level, but still. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.